If you would have told me I'm making a video about VTubers a few months back, I would have called you crazy. I don't know the first thing about VTubers. I am a simple man of flesh. But then the Game Awards happened, with Iron Mouse winning Content Creator of the Year, and that piqued my interest, especially after seeing her reaction to her own victory and how humble she was, never expecting to win and instead cheering on her friend. And the Game Award goes to... Blackity! Iron Mouse! What? So I started watching some of her content, then catching some streams and videos she's done with Sea Dog VA, and I quickly found some VTuber rabbit hole with the other members of V Shoujo after seeing some of their collabs. I can say without a shadow of a doubt that Iron Mouse's content got me hooked with how funny, chaotic, passionate, and insane she is as a creator. That is the first and foremost thing that stuck with me. Anything additional about her just makes her that much more impressive. She is a normal person who has done extraordinary things, while dealing with issues that myself and most of you watching could never fully understand, and we'll get into all that, and how it can impact myself and you, along with how we can help later in the video. But for now, let's take a step back and learn a brief history of V Shoujo, before going into why I believe they're such a powerhouse of a group. Why would someone make an idol agency with gods, aliens, and robots? 2020 is known for a lot of things. Final Fantasy VII Remake came out, we got the best friendship ever between Isabel and Doomguy, but something else important happened. It's the year that V Shoujo was created. V Shoujo was launched with initial members Iron Mouse, Apricot slash Fruit, Project Melodies and Treya, Natasha Nyaners, Hime, and Silvervale, with Vebe joining in a few months later, and with their goal being to help empower and promote English-speaking VTubers, which they absolutely succeeded in doing. It did not take long for their members to start making waves. Shortly after their launch, the team was able to raise over 69,000 nice in charity for Toys for Tots and barely a year later, in October 2021, both Iron Mouse and Vebe cracked the top 10 most watched female streamers on Twitch. And not long after that, when Iron Mouse did her subathon in February 2022, she became the single most sub 2 streamer on Twitch. Now I do need to interject here real quick, because apparently with VTubers and VShoujo, the lore is insane, involving Eldritch Beasts, Conquering Hell, Boredom, Viruses, Racing, and Booby. I recommend watching this video from release that explains the timeline. So we're not going over the lore for all the characters, because listen, I'm a noob to all this VTuber stuff, and the lore is a lot a lot. Over the next few years, V Shoujo would do additional charity streams, bring in additional members, and have some leave. Mizuna, Nyaners, Silvervale, and Vebe all left the org in 2023, but the team brought in Giga, Haruka, Kuro, Matara, Kason, and the genius herself, Henya. I'm really not familiar with any of the members who left, so I won't discuss anything with them, I just hope they've been doing well in their careers. But just being a group isn't what makes V Shoujo special, not at all. What makes them so special is how they all interact with one another. I've been on the internet for a long time, and seen many groups come and go, but what's always stuck with me are the groups that you can tell actually have fun with what they're doing, and care about each other. They can go from beating the hell out of one another, to literally being there for each other during the rough times and the good times. Not even if they're streaming, they just show up when they need to, because they care. The most recent example of this that I had noticed is when they were all there for Henya when she was about surgery, then not leaving their chat and still being there for her when she woke up afterward. Not to mention their New Year's Eve party in VR chat, which was pure chaos but also so damn wholesome. It made me tear up quite a bit. And they were all also there for Mouse when she won content creator of the year. At the end of the day, they're a team, and you could tell they love each other, but I'm not saying it's perfect. Every team, friendship, group, anything really, will have its ups and downs. I'm sure they handle some stuff outside of the public eye, which is the professional and mature way to handle anything negative. I'm not sure in the past if there has been anything drama-wise, because honestly, I don't want to shift through drama videos and do research on something like that, because I'm sure a lot of people just milked any negativity and made it sound a lot worse than it was. I'm mentioning this for two reasons, really. One, I don't want people to look at them and assume that the only way for them to be in a good friendship or group is to be perfect 100% of the time, because it won't be. You have your ups and downs, but it's how you get through them that makes you an amazing group, so it's okay to have low points and rough times. And two, it blows my mind the amount of people that see VTubers that are just negative and jealous of success. If you see someone being successful at content creation and your first thought is jealousy and negativity, then you should turn that inwards and grow yourself as a person or creator, just wasting energy being negative like that for no reason. But even with anything bad or negativity from people about VTubers, this group continues to thrive, and we've been nominated again for Content Group of the Year at this year's Streamer Awards. They deserve all the success, and I hope they continue to grow and build upon one another and take care of each other. It's hard to find people that work well together and care about each other like this group, and even harder to keep them together. But V Shoujo has been doing a damn good job at it, and it shows in their content. Anytime the members collab, it's a guaranteed fun and chaotic time, and guaranteed to bring you some laughs and tears. To sum it all up, the reason why I think they're one of the best groups out there is because they care about each other, they love each other, and are able to let it show in their content while still consistently putting out amazing collabs, streams, and videos, not to mention concerts. And since we're mentioning music now, let's talk a bit more about Iron Mouse. When I look at you, what I always see. I want to take some more time to focus on Iron Mouse compared to the rest of the team since she's the reason why I even got into VTubers and VShoujo at all. I mentioned at the start of the video that she deals with things most of us wouldn't be able to fully comprehend. 
She has a disease called Common Variable Immunodeficiency, or better known as CVID, which is an immune disorder that leaves people bedridden and isolated because their body isn't able to create antibodies to fight off infections and viruses, which means that for years, she has kicked ass at creating content while dealing with this. It's like a marathon runner having to win a gold medal while running with two-ton weights tied to their ankles and still getting the gold. As someone who struggled with disabilities, the way she's able to conquer life while dealing with CVID is nothing short of inspiring. And from what I've seen online, thousands of others feel the same way. And if you want to help people like her who deal with CVID, the best thing to do is donate plasma. I'm working on getting a bit healthier myself before I can donate, but I have some links in the description below with more info on how you can find a place to donate to, and information about the charity group IDF, the Immune Deficiency Foundation, if you'd like to support and see what else you can do to help. I plan to do a charity stream for them later this year, so stick around to be a part of that in the future. This isn't what defines Mouse though. I said earlier she's just a normal person who's done extraordinary things while dealing with CVID. Sickness, diseases, and disabilities aren't what define people. It's how you treat others and how you live your life while dealing with them that define you. Even without CVID, I'd respect the hell out of Mouse and be a fan of her content, but seeing how she does what she does while dealing with it just makes me want to personally keep fighting and being better no matter what. And as someone who's nearly given up on life multiple times now, it means the world to me to see someone creating content like she does. She has a really kick-ass community too. I highly recommend checking out her streams. I can honestly say getting into her content got me through the holidays last year too. Every day is a gift. Every year is a gift. And it reignited my own drive and love for streaming and creating content, which I'm so thankful for because it's been a rough 2024 so far. So being able to make content and stream has been a huge help. And I don't think I'd be doing this right now if I didn't get into Mouse's content. So for me to Mouse, I thank you. She deserves every single award and good thing that comes her way, and I cannot wait to see what she does next. Whether it's the next concert, song cover, stream, game video, or just hanging out with her friends and enjoying life. Everything she does is amazing content. Also have to shout out Booby, that, that dude's pretty chill. Now that the sappy stuff's out of the way, she's also Puerto Rican and curses a lot. As someone from New Jersey, cursing is my second language. Legit, y'all have no idea how hard it is to make videos. If I didn't do a f***ing script and just went off the cuff, it'd be beeps every other word. So it just feels natural to me watching her stuff. She's also the king of hell or something too. I don't really worry much about that though because my boy Chucky said it best. You think I'm scared to go to hell? Fuck that. I'm from Jersey. <laughs> When it comes to the future, the sky is the limit for VTubers, with VShoujo and Iron Mouse leading the way. I can't wait to learn more about the process of VTubing, dive into the lore a bit more, and just experience a whole different and unique world of content. You may ask me too, Jack, as a man of flesh, will you ever make a VTuber? Well, I have a PNG tuber model that's just me, but I do have a sliver of an idea for an eventual VTuber model in lore. So maybe in the future, when I have enough money to make a model, I'll start that up. So we'll see. One day, I might bounce between the flesh tuber and VTuber worlds. At the end of it all, I just can't wait to keep diving more into VTubers children's content as a whole, and I hope you all continue to inform this noob about the world of VTubers. It's a whole new world of content for me, and if you've made it this far in the video and haven't been a fan of VTubers, I highly suggest checking out Iron Mouse and the rest of VShoujo. You won't be disappointed. Thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to go support Iron Mouse and the rest of V-Shoujo. All links are down below. And if you enjoyed this video of mine, here's another one I did about how an anime is part of the upcoming Silent Hill game. Until next time, just keep taking care of each other.